Nick Charbonneau. I'm a sophomore representative on the Honors Leadership Board. And next up, we have Professor Morris Stevenson, Associate Professor of Biology, who's talking about the 16-ounce soda ban with visuals. Hi, everyone. I think my talk today is a little less scholarly, a little bit more public service announcement, I think. Um, <coughs> I want to talk to you a little bit about a big problem we have in this society and, and maybe get you to think about some baby steps that are about to take place to try to make a difference. Um, body mass index, it's a single number that we use to describe somebody's weight in relation to their height. And clinically allows us to classify people into categories relative to their risks. So you see the fellow in the light green on the far left represents a healthy body mass index. And our classifications exist along a, spe a spectrum. So you can see as we start to move to the right from the fellow in green, we start to see that we have increasing body mass indexes along with increases, increase in risk of both morbidity and mortality. Um, you can see the category of overweight alone carries a 13% increase in risk of mortality. And you can see as you move further to the right, the risks get fairly significantly <coughs> greater. Um, obesity is classified into three classes. Um, the higher the class, the greater the risk. Um, and I think you would agree that the risks, the risk levels are not insignificant. So you see as we start to move further and further to the right, we've got some serious problems that exist. Um, how widespread is the problem? If I went out and gathered up a random sample of 100 people in the United States, I would expect about 69 of them to be overweight or obese and obese uh, into those categories, which means we do the math, only 21 of them would fall into a healthy weight range. Um, how many of them are in the higher risk categories? Well, roughly about 34.5% currently fall into the obese categories. And so we've seen these numbers dramatically increasing over the years. So more people are becoming overweight and more people, uh, people are becoming more overweight. Um, the causes are numerous. Uh, we have to have a lot more than 60 seconds or three minutes to talk about those. I want to zero in on one category today and that's uh, soda. Uh, and you see I've used the term liquid candy because I think it's really um, easy to drink sugar. It's a lot less uh, difficult to eat sugar. So I'm going to try to give you some analogies to that. So you may be aware that New York City is about to impose a soda ban. Um, 16 ounce soda will be the upper limit. So the ban will prohibit the sale of fountain sized soda drinks in excess of 16 ounces in any business that's regulated by the city. So I'd like to just show you a little bit about what the soda ban is gonna uh, not let you drink. So this is, gonna, this is a 16 ounce cup. Okay, so what you'll still be able to get is 13 teaspoons of sugar, okay? Probably nobody in here is going to eat this, but many people will drink this, okay? Same sugar, just in a different form. So what is the soda ban going to prevent you from doing, okay? This is a large drink from the cafeteria here at Quinnipiac. This is a 20-ounce soda, and from this, you would get... Um, sorry, 23 teaspoons. So no longer are you going to be able to get a single fountain beverage in the city of New York uh, and be able to drink this much sugar. What else is the sugar ban going to save you from? Okay, we've got a super big gulp, thanks to my husband who stopped at 7-Eleven last night. Uh, this is a 40 ounce, 34 teaspoons, okay? So no longer are you going to be able to get a fountain sized drink that's going to allow you to drink this much sugar. If the super gulp, big gulp is not big enough, you can get a double gulp, okay? <laughs> double gulp is a 48 ounces, and from this, you would get 40 teaspoons of sugar. So no longer in the city of New York are you gonna be able to drink your way through this amount of sugar from a fountain drink. And then last but not least, <laughs> the first time we saw this, we thought it was a cooler. We thought it'd be nice, you put your drinks in it, put some ice in it, and take it to the picnic, until we discovered there was a straw, and this is what we made for a single consumption. So this is 64 ounces of soda. So no longer are you going to be able to get an individual beverage that is going to allow you to drink 54 teaspoons of sugar. <laughs> there you have it. 